Item number SCP-061-FR Threat level yellow Optic class Euclid Special containment procedures SCP-061-FR is to be contained in a cell of 25 meters squared minimum and modified to make it similar to the natural habitat of SCP-061-FR. There must be no place where SCP-061-FR could lay an egg without the latter being observed. SCP-061-FR should be fed twice a day with worms, insects, or fruit. Description SCP-061-FR is a female bird of the genus Apetrix, more commonly known as Kiwi. SCP-061-FR is capable even without a male of laying an egg. Named SCP-061-FRA, having an incubation period ranging from 70 to 80 days. When laid, SCP-061-FRA has a standard size of an apetrix egg, but during the incubation period, size may increase or decrease to a maximum of 4 meters and a minimum of 5 centimeters. The animal hatching from SCP-061-FRA, now named SCP-061-FRB, can be any aphropous animal. Since a Triceratops egg has already been laid by SCP-061-FR, it has been assumed that SCP-061-FRB can come from any time period, including the future. Once born, SCP-061-FRB will consider SCP-061-FR as its mother regardless of physical differences. Note that SCP-061-FRB is always born at its adult size. It is important to note that, despite the fact that children regard SCP-061-FR as their mother, the mother pays no special attention to them. Thus, animals requiring a learning phase with their mother are most of the time unable to survive alone due to the lack of education from SCP-061-FR. Following incident 061FR1, it has been noted that SCP-061FR could survive any accident as follows. When SCP-061FR is killed, it fills its abdomen with large amount of nitrogen. Once the minimum pressure of 6 bars is reached, an instance of SCP-061FR P-061-FRA is expelled from SCP-061-FR. Unlike other instances of SCP-061-FRA, this one breaks instantly and SCP-061-FR comes out. It is probably the same individual since the physical characteristics that were specific to it are always present. It is some sort of self-cloning ability. Addendum SCP-061-FR was captured in the town of Beep following abnormal events such as the presence of a great white shark in a swimming pool, the hatching of the python from a resident who is used to collecting chicks, or the presence of a Nile crocodile. The element that really attracted the attention of the Foundation was a 4 meter high egg of an unknown species. Note, who knows what kind of creature might have been in there. Dr. Zap. Incident Report 061FR1. Date April 12th, 2017. Location Building B of Site Alif. A Triceratops egg was laid and hatched without the knowledge of Dr. Zap. SCP 061 FRP panicked and began to charge his staff members present on the other side of the glass separating the cell of SCP 061 FR. Assistant Jeff did not have time to take shelter and was trampled. In its charge, SCP-061 FRP crushed SCP-061 FR, which then instinctively laid an egg. The latter was ejected at such a speed that Agent Dangrench was unable to avoid it. SCP-061 FRP was ultimately shot down. Incident Report 061 FR2 Date, 
April 22nd, 2017. Location, Building B of Site Aleph. Another egg was laid without the knowledge of Dr. Zapp. The egg having reached extreme proportions very quickly, as well as an enormously high mass, it is currently impossible to remove it from the cell of SCP-061-FR. SCP-061-FR has therefore been moved to an adjacent cell in order to confine with the current cell the potential entity that will exit SCP-061-FRA.